Hello everyone, it is I Reverse and welcome back to some more Boom Beach. In the last episode, we finally reclaimed that room, uh, that, that resource base after three tries and um, we spotted LT Hammerman. So in this episode, we are actually going to attempt to take him down. But first, of course, I'm going to do the usual and update you guys about what's ongoing right now. So I'm going to show you guys I have my fourth landing craft right now because we upgraded our HQ right now to level 6. And we need to be level 14 before we can uh, go ahead and upgrade that again. It's going to be a real fun level because we're going to get another residence. We're going to get a quarry. I'm going to go over that a little bit later. Um, going to get another gold storage, another mortar and a shock bomb. And I think that's an attack or something like that. So that's going to be really something to look forward to. Currently, my med kit isn't working. And I'm going to show you guys my artillery, my rifleman's level 3. My heavy's level 3. Uh, my zooka is level 2. Upgrade my mines to level 3. Uh, my shock bombs or the artillery is level 3 right now. And my med kit is level 2 currently on to level 3. So that's going to take a while. I've also been upgrading some defensive buildings. First of all, the mortar is level 4. I think it was already. The machine gun is finally level 4. But it needs stone to upgrade it once again. It is the same thing with the mortar. They all need stone. The problem is... That I have no buildings that can produce stone for me because the quarry unlocks at level 7 headquarters. So that kind of sucks. Um, I had a gold storage, stone storage. But the only way for me right now it seems to actually get stone is by either getting it from the daily reward that appears right here. Or by getting it from a uh, resource base or from other bases with people that already have stone. So that's going to take a while. But we can also just do this. It's going to help us out as well. So we're going to do that a little bit later when, once we actually need some more stone. So we got like one, two, three, four, five. I think like five or six piles, uh, six piles of stone that we can work with. But we're going to see what this headquarter needs as well. Because I want to get to level seven as soon as I can. So um, what else have I been doing? Yeah, landing craft level four as well. So that's going to help. I uh, got a lot of wood. I barely got gold. But today... That time when you take a recording and uh, it crashes, like seriously, like the moment I was taking down LT Hammerman's uh, base, I got crashed. Well, I'm gonna show you guys, and I'm pretty upset about this by the way, I need to fix my recording because sometimes it does happen. Okay, so we actually took down LT Hammerman, and we got 25 diamonds for doing that, it's called the payback reward, and um, yeah, my resources are all filled up, I cannot really do anything with those. But um, I'm going to find out a way to actually do something with them. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. But we'll find out a way. I'm going to show you guys a really cool defensive. Um, oh, there we go. A really cool defense that we defended with our new base. That was the first attack that we had. And we defended it. And oh, we're going to get some diamonds. That's really cool. So I'm going to show you guys what happened there. And I think it's exactly how I intended it. So this is the replay. He goes for the Rifleman and Heavies and Zookas and he just goes with them all at once. And, and this is like a shock shock bomb, I think. I think that's the shock bomb, which we talked about earlier. But um, they all spread out. I don't think he really thought it out carefully or something like that. I have no idea. But uh, he flares to the middle to, I think, go for the, for the HQ or something like that. I have no idea what he's doing. Uh, takes down a golden storage, then he starts on the uh, on the sniper tower here, but then uh, he gets taken down, then he goes for the machine gun. He's being very random about it, and I don't really understand why, uh, but two sniper towers over at the left side and the right side are still intact, so they're going to do significant damage to the heavies, and that heavy is actually going to be taken down, then he retreats and shoots another flare. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, we actually defended that one, but there's also two def attacks that we uh, didn't defend, so that we're, that's something we're actually going to take a look at as well. So, um, this guy's level 20, he's relatively stronger than I am, and um, I feel that's the reason why he didn't take it down. So he, go he goes for the mortar, it seems that everybody's going for the mortar first, so that's part of the reason why we leveled up that one first. He goes with two heavies at the left side, then two more heavies. Goes with the Zookas and then Rifleman. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Rifleman. That's a ton of Rifleman. That means that his uh, aircraft leveled up quite a bit. He takes out my sniper tower. Then um, he just like pulverizes my base just like that. Because he has the health. I mean his, his units are way upgraded better than mine. So it's really cake for him to take down the base. And there we go. Then the next attack as well, we're going to take a look here. This guy's level 21, so uh, he goes with 4 heavies and 10 zookas. That's a lot of uh, zookas, and I feel that's also the part of the reason why he took me down. Goes for the mortar once again. 
then he goes with a flare on the sniper tower. So I need to level up this sniper tower as well. Or just the machine gun. And then he just does the exact same thing. Pulverizes everything. Throws a shock bomb up the right side. And just takes out my base. Yeah, I really couldn't do anything against those guys. Those were just too strong. They were just too high level. But that's okay, you know. I don't mind all that much. So we have a lot of, like, things ongoing. We have so much, like... Uh, we have so much diamonds and, and go I mean we have so many resources, but I cannot do anything with it This is kind of a luxury position, but I'm just gonna go ahead and clear out these stones right now because I'm I'm in the need of stones later on so I might as well just do it now so that way uh, we can lose some money But uh, the money that I've stockpiled in here isn't all that much. So we're not going to collect it quite yet We are actually just first um, Going to take out Chris over here. I think can we? First of all, let me check what my uh, units are. Well, I suppose we can go with this. That should be good. Okay, Chris. We're finally going to take you out. This base is actually not all that good. And also the fact that this machine gun is out of order right now because it's upgrading is a plus for us. This mortar is not even in the way from the right side. The only concern is really this sniper tower over here and this one over there. So what we're going to be doing is uh, kill this sniper tower, then destroy this one with our units, and then just pulverize the base. Let's give it a go. Okay, so the only thing that we have here are the mines, but yeah, mines. Three over there. Okay. One heavy over here, one over there, and that and that. Then it's gonna automatically go to that uh, sniper tower over there. I might get some trouble from the mortar. It seems that we don't. This goes better than expected. Let's throw a flare over that side. Oh, now the, now the mortar is actually coming. No, it doesn't shoot. And uh, I guess you guys know what's already going to happen because this is just like for us we're just going to uh, pulverize everything right now because yeah we, we just uh, I'm not gonna have any troubles here whatsoever I mean are we maybe if these Zookas are gonna walk really strange are they actually gonna go for that house that's pretty cool <laughs> gonna give me more energy I suppose nice um, you know just going to uh, take down the machine gun that is work in progress right now but yeah it doesn't really matter all that much anyway we're just going to uh, you know what I'm just going to go to the base and actually take out the mortar here just for kicks and giggles you know because I can and it's not going to you know do anything anyway I mean if we take out that mortar it's gonna be gone yeah we, we lost our zookas but I needed to waste money regardless Okay, there we go, machine gun. That's the last thing we're gonna be taking out. I'm just having fun right now, guys. I know I'm gonna take out this base for sure, I hope. Am I? <laughs> Maybe put myself in a troublesome position there. Okay, there we go, boom. Okay, didn't get to show you guys the victory screen, but it wasn't all that interesting. We just lost our units, but we're gonna recharge them once again, of course. Um, just like that. Okay, awesome, awesome. That is awesome. Uh, the money issue is going to, the, the wood issue is going to bother me right now. So we're just going to fast finish this because otherwise we might get raided and I don't want that to happen. So we can actually upgrade the mortar now. I don't want to do that because, well, I don't know what the head, headquarters needs and we still need like a quarter of a level to do that. So, you know what, I'm just going to level up my gunboat. That should take away the necessary wood for us so that way we can actually keep on going. And, um... The one thing that I'm going to be doing right now is actually waiting for 15 minutes and I'll get back to you guys once again. We're going to take another player base and uh, yeah, see you guys in just a second. Toasty. Our force is ready. We are going to take out another player base. And it's a really funny player base that I actually had in mind to, uh, to take out. I was taking a look at Erebos over here and I think we can actually take that one out. Um, because, well, look at it. These two can be taken out. It's really funny that he has extra damage per second um, I think we might be capable of pulverizing this entire base, but that's not the base I want to be taking a look at there's actually another base of this guy Jaffa level 17 that we can take out and look at how he has it like also his defense is already beginning So if we were to actually go from the back side, we can actually take out this base as well but I want to save this base for later because look at the resources that we're going to be getting if we take down this base. So we're going to save this for a little bit later. 
and we're actually going to attempt to take out this base of arrow bows. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna be doing it, but uh, I know one thing for sure. One, two, three. Boom, boom. There you go, three. Boom. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Reversal, you didn't think this one out, did you? <laughs> What level is this mortar? Because I have no idea. <laughs> what a fail, seriously. I was like so confident, I was like, oh, I'm gonna take this one out for sure. 2600, this machine gun, we, we missed out this machine gun for sure. Uh, we didn't do enough damage to actually take this one out yet. That's kind of embarrassing, really. I thought I was gonna take it out, but it seems that we couldn't. Can we take out another player base? I haven't seen this one yet. Shogs. Okay, what do you... <laughs> you have a mortar over here. That's going to be troublesome. But look at this. These sniper tires are pretty annoying in there. He has a pretty nice setup there. Even though you might think he doesn't. Um, this sniper tower is going to cover the right side if you want to attack from there. If you want to go from the back side, so you're going to deal with this cannon. And if you deal with that cannon, this mortar is going to come out as well. So that might be troublesome. I might like lose like two or three uh, infantry or riflemen if I uh, go down there. So that's uh, not an option. If I want to go from the back, I suppose I can do that. But I still have to take out this mortar first. And then we still have the machine gun to worry about. So I'm going to leave this for later as well. Or might just replace it. This guy also came out. He is like practically impossible right now. Um, but um, this base. I might just want to give it a go, you know. Just might want to try it. Just to, you know, try it out. And we can always flare from the right side. And we only have to take care of the boom cannon. We could just do it the ninja style kind of way. He kind of left an opening at the right side, so we should just take advantage of that, right? The boom kind of doesn't even reach it, so we just, you know what? We're gonna try it. If we take it the ninja way, that's gonna teach him. That's one thing for sure. Uh, should have flared on there. Shooting the next flare down there. No, no, no. Oh, man, oh, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. Lost one heavy off the bat. Are you stupid? Like seriously? Are you stupid, Reversal? You're such a noob at this game though. That wasn't thought of like good at all. Like that was really bad of me. I apologize for the inconvenience. I'm gonna have to rebuild my bases now. <laughs> Okay, 6 minutes this time around. But yeah, I'm gonna have to... Uh, oh, 11 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna have to be right back once again. Toasty. There we are once again. Our troops are ready to rock and roll. We're gonna try this once again, guys. I have no idea if we're gonna be capable of doing this. But, uh... Huh? Did it change? I don't think that name was here, was it? Hold up. Okay, it was. Okay. Might be, uh... Might be, might be imagining things, okay. <sighs> Here we go. Revenge. Revenge for what you've done to me up to this point. Well, nothing really. Brought it all upon myself, but that's okay. Flare down there. Might not be the most ideal position. I'm guessing. Yeah. So far so good, I hope. Is it? Is it? Oh, we lost the Zooka. Ouch. Lost a lot of Zooka. What are you doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now that our Zooka's gone. That's another heavy gone. I might want to go with a lot of riflemen for the next time. Because it doesn't matter, regardless, if I'm taking... Havis or Zookas or whatever, you know, it's just one hit, bam, it's gone, you know. So, this looks like a fail to me. I wanted to have those Zookas though for extra damage. But look at how sad this is. I'm gonna retreat. Kamikaze! Okay, you're dead. <laughs> we won't be capable of taking this one out for now. 
But if we take it out, it gets stronger, right? Just like the last one. So I do want to keep this on my base for the next time. I don't know how this guy actually took it, but I think we can do it better than he did. Um, especially because of the... He might, like... You know, the problem is with this, is that he's going to see it in his log, and he's going to be like, oh, this one isn't well placed, so he's probably going to move it a little bit more to the right, even. So, yeah, that might be troublesome. I'm not so sure. If he does, then we're going to wait until it refreshes, I hope. But, yeah, unfortunately, I cannot take it down for now. So, yes. We've done a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you guys uh, my taking down Hammerman level 10. Uh, the problem was that my recording kind of crapped on me, so I apologize for that. I cannot take that back. I don't know why it does that, but I cannot, like, you know, ah, uh, that's all I have to say about it. So, yes, I'm going to round this episode of Boom Beach off here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, make sure that if you guys like this episode, to boom, give it a thumbs up. This was our reversal for Boom Beach. I'll be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.